Welcome again, chemistry students. This video will focus on percent composition. So for the objective, we will calculate for the percent composition of a compound. What is percent composition? Percent composition is the percent by mass of each element in a compound. So the calculation of percent composition for a compound is always for individual elements in that compound. So if you have two elements in a compound, then you will have to do two uh, calculations for percentage. We have here the general formula or general equation. So percent composition of an element in a compound equals N times the molar mass of that element. So N stands for the number of atoms of uh, that element in a compound multiplied by the atomic mass or molar mass of that element which can be taken from the periodic table divided by the molar mass of the whole compound. So we have identified or uh, defined molar mass in uh, other videos. Molar mass is the total mass of all the atoms present in a compound, in one mole of a compound. And then multiply the ratio by 100. Let's have the following. There are two steps in uh, calculating the percent composition. One is calculate the molar mass or, of the formula. So again, molar mass is the total mass of all of the atoms present in a molecule or in a mole of that compound. And step two, divide the total mass of each element in the formula by the molar mass and then multiply by 100. Let's have an example. So again, what is molar mass? It is the total mass of all atoms in one mole of a substance. Uh, the atomic masses are the molar masses of the elements. The um, molar mass of compounds equals the total mass of all the atoms of elements in a compound. So using the periodic table, you can determine the molar mass of individual element. For example, one mole of hydrogen equals its atomic mass 1.01 gram. One mole of oxygen equals its atomic mass 16.00 gram. So that's how you make use of the periodic table for the molar masses of the elements in a compound. So we have here some examples. So uh, the recorded Atomic masses of the elements in the periodic table are hydrogen 1.008 atomic mass unit, magnesium 24.31 atomic mass unit, and sodium 22.99 atomic mass unit. Molar masses are the same as their atomic mass. So we are using the unit gram for the uh, purpose of computations or calculations. Let's have water as an example. So let's calculate the percent composition of water. So step one, calculate the molar mass of water. So in calculating the molar mass, we first list down the uh, elements present in the compound. So in water, we have two, hydrogen and oxygen. Then list down also the number of atoms present in one mole of that substance. So in one mole of water, we have two hydrogen as indicated by the subscript and one oxygen as indicated by no subscript because that is understood to be one and then multiply them by their respective atomic masses which can be taken from the periodic table so for hydrogen we have two atoms times the atomic mass 1.01 gram that will give you 2.02 grams for oxygen, we have one atom of oxygen in one mole of water times the atomic mass 16 grams equals 16 grams. And then you get the sum. 18.02 is now the molar mass of water. Let's do step two. Divide the mass of each element by the molar mass and multiply by 100. So as I said uh, earlier, when doing... Uh, calculations of percent composition depending on the number of elements present in the compound that you are computing percent com per percentage. So in the, in the case of water, you are doing two calculations for percentages, one for hydrogen and one for oxygen. The summation letter later on must be equal to 100% because it's like 100% substance broken down to how many percent of individual uh, elements present in that compound. So, for example, in water, we have two atoms of hydrogen. Does it follow? And one atom of oxygen. Does, does it mean that uh, since there are more atoms of hydrogen, does it mean that there is higher percentage of hydrogen in in uh, um, in a certain amount of water? Not, not necessarily. Because percent composition means percent by mass. The greater the mass in one mole of a substance, the greater the percent taken by that 
element. So in this case, we have hydrogen. The total mass of hydrogen in one mole of a substance is 2.02 grams. You divide that by the molar mass or the total mass of all the atoms present in that compound water, 18.02. So this one was what we calculated earlier. And then you cancel gram. You divide the 2, 2.02 divided by 18.02 and then multiply by 100 and you will get 11.21% of hydrogen in any amount of water. Therefore, if um, it's 100% water, the, the remaining percentage will is taken by the other element which is oxygen. Let's see. Oxygen's total mass in one mole of water is 16 grams. You divide that by the formula mass of water, 18.02. You cancel gram and then multiply by 100, you will get 88.79%. When you add up the two, you will get 100%. So since oxygen takes higher mass in one mole of water, it takes also the higher percentage in any amount of water. So that's what we... Uh, do and how we conclude when it comes to percent composition of a compound. Let's have another example. Calculate the molar mass and percent composition of C sub 2 H sub 6 O. This is the molecular formula of ethyl alcohol or ethanol. Okay, let's first do the step one. Molar mass of um, the substance. So to do that, let's list down the constituent elements. We have three carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. List down also the numbers of atoms. We have two carbon as indicated by the chemical formula. We have uh, six hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. We multiply these numbers of atoms by their respective atomic masses which are taken from the periodic table. So carbon 2 times 12.01 gram atomic mass equals 24.02 grams. Hydrogen 6 times atomic mass 1.01 gram equals 6.06 grams. And oxygen 1 times 16 gram equals 16 grams. And then you get the sum. You will have 46.08 grams. So that will be the molar mass of ethanol. Let's now do uh, step 2. Percent composition. Since we have three elements here, we will compute for three percentages. One for carbon, another for hydrogen, and another for oxygen. So let's do the computations. For carbon, the total mass of carbon in one mole of ethanol is 24.02 grams as uh, calculated earlier in step one divided by the molar mass of the whole compound is 46.08 grams. You cancel gram, divide the two, and then multiply by 100, you will get 52.13%. For hydrogen, the total mass is a, of hydrogen in one mole of, of uh, ethanol is 6.06 6 gram. Divide that by the same molar mass of the whole compound, 46.08 grams. Cancel gram, multiply by 100, you will get 13.15%. And for oxygen, we have 16 grams divided by the same molar mass, 46.08 gram times 100, cancel gram, the answer is 34.72%. When you add up the 4, rather the 3, you have to get 100%. So 100% um, compound of that compound is broken down to 3 components. 52%, more than 52% is taken by carbon, 13.15% by hydrogen, and 34.72% by oxygen. And another example, calculate the percent composition of aluminum sulfate. So again, let's have uh, the molar mass of aluminum sulfate. Aluminum sulfate has three constituent elements, aluminum, sulfur, and oxygen. Looking at the subscript, subscripts, we have two aluminum, three sulfur. You distribute three of the quantity SO4 or sulfate. And then oxygen has a four subscript multiplied by the subscript of the sulfate ion, 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So we have 12 oxygen atoms. Multiply the numbers of atoms by their atomic masses. We have aluminum is 26.97 grams uh, atomic mass. Multiply by two atoms. That will give you 53.96 gram. 3 sulfur, 1 sulfur weighs 32.07 gram. 3 uh, times 3 equals 96.21 grams. 
oxygen 12 times 16 gram is 192 grams the molar mass of the whole compound is 342.17 grams and for step two let's compute for the percent composition so we have three percentages one for aluminum another for sulfur and another for oxygen the total mass of aluminum in one mole of aluminum sulfate is 53.96 grams as we have calculated in the previous slide and divide that by the formula mass or molar mass of the compound 342.17 grams you cancel gram and then multiply the answer by 100 you will get the percentage 15 point 77. For sulfur, the total mass of sulfur in one mole of uh, aluminum sulfate is 96.21 grams. Divide that by the molar mass of the compound, 342.17 grams. Cancel gram, multiply by 100, you will get 28.12 grams. And for the last element, oxygen, we have 192 divided by the same molar mass of 342.17 grams. You cancel gram, you multiply by 100, you will get 56.11%. You add up the three percentages, you will get 100%. So I hope that's clear. Can you do this uh, on your own? Calculate the molar mass and percent composition of aluminum, rather ammonium nitrate. So that will be all for this uh, special topic. You will be needing this for the next lesson. The next lesson or topic for this uh, lesson, three lesson is um, um, stoichiometry. So be prepared for the uh, determination or calculation of uh, a uh, empirical formula and molecular formula and then you will be needing this as uh, you go along also so that will be all thank you for watching until next time